Yeah, we had the Sweden Rock at the backstage bar and I met a, yeah, a celebrity of the Swedish heavy metal scene, Snowy Shaw. Please let us know, what do you do here? Uh, basically, I'm here to hang out and have a good time, meet a lot of friends and uh, drink beer. Okay. And the sun is shining, hopefully, but it's not. Oh, a little bit. Yeah, a little, a little bit, bit right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but basically I'm just hanging out because I mean if you work in a factory or something, which I don't, I mean then then once a year you get together and uh, you know have a party. Yeah. And uh, if you're a musician, you, you never meet your friends because even if you live in the same city or something, but you know you get together at a, a place like Sweden Rock Festival. So, okay. so that's it. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. I always was amazed because you do so many things. You are a drummer, you are a singer, you are an artist. I'm a so porn star too. Sorry. I'm a porn star too. <laughs> oh, yes, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Zoom so, in. <laughs> okay. So, where did you put the focus on right now? Uh, I'm trying to earn a living somehow. <laughs> so, that's what I'm doing. No, but uh, the focus right now is that we are, we are uh, just about to, to record a new Therion album. Okay. Uh, so I wrote a couple of songs for that and uh, came up with some melodies on Christopher's songs and stuff like that. Yeah. So it was supposed to be done in uh, in the spring, but uh, I guess it's a little bit late for spring now. So it's, okay. uh, it's going to be in the summer, I guess. Yeah. But you did the classical thing, I think, before, huh? Uh, what do you mean, the new DVD that yeah. came out? I wasn't involved with that one, oh, so, okay, so, so yeah. Yeah, I actually was, I was, you know, like you said, I do so many different things. So yeah. I designed the stage and everything for that concert, yeah. but then the... I think it was recorded in Bulgaria or something like that, I don't know, but somehow there were some uh, bad communication, so uh, yeah, they fucked me up or something like that, so I never got paid, so they, they never used it, something, yeah, yeah, but I do stage props, I do uh, artwork for bands, I do uh, take photography, uh, you know, I'm wow. a photographer, yeah, but I do a lot of stuff, so I sort of like design things and help people out, like new, newer bands and, and uh, you know, sort of like refining their style and finding yeah. their direction and tell them skip that shit and focus on that instead because okay. yeah and I do a lot of different things so I play bass in a cover band <laughs> no. No, really? yeah yeah but I mean yeah but yeah I play drums of course and I have this yeah. band called Triple X and uh, yeah so we I just form my own label start my own label so I can you know basically put it out like uh, in different ter territories uh, yeah by license and stuff like that. So that's what I always was yeah. a fan of your drumming in yeah, uh, Merciful Fate and uh, okay. uh, Memento Mori. Okay. So, uh, and as once saw you, we just talked about it before, yeah. playing a bass drum from two sides with a yeah, pedal. Instead so of having it like that, like the front head there, I put it like that. So I had one leg on each side, so I yeah. can have one pedal on each side. So, yeah, but that is just a gimmick, a bullshit thing that I came up with just to make the video interesting. So <laughs> okay. I didn't have any rack toms or anything like that. Instead, I had like six floor toms around. Yeah. So, of course, I couldn't play it like that, but it yeah. was just a video. So, yeah, what yeah. do you enjoy most? Singing, playing drums, playing another instrument, or doing uh, the art? Basically, work? I mean, uh, I'm mostly interested in sort of like creating the whole thing, like I did with Notre Dame, uh, for yeah. example, uh, because then I wrote all the music and I basically. This is not official really, but I mean, I played all the instruments, it was just me actually. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but I mean, I'm mostly concerned about creating something, a cool uh, concept and, yeah. and uh, writing good songs. I mean, yeah. so it doesn't really matter if I play the drums or if I play or if I sing or something like that. But I mean, if it's my band, I think it's better that than, than the... You know, it's, if if I'm if it's my band, it's my like my baby or something. Yeah, okay. It's better that I'm the one to represent it and yeah. present it to the audience and sing it. I think that's better because I mean I consider it kind of hard to 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 find a singer to to represent the lyrics and stuff like that. I mean I think that's better. Also, it's a ego thing, I guess, because I mean if it's my band, I want to be in front. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> yeah, but I mean I really appreciate being in Therion because it's sort of like an pretty uh, well-established band that tours around the world and yeah. you know and to be able to to front a band as the singer that is my true calling I guess you know yeah. instead of I'm pretty tired of being the guy in the, the guy in the background I guess <laughs> it's well, not you, you, it's you, not my true element even as a drummer you make sure that everybody was the record yeah but you. I mean it's nothing it's nothing that I really thought of but yeah. I mean it just comes out that way I guess yeah. so some people are I guess you know I draw attention somehow I don't I don't know but 
But I mean, you yeah. get attention when walking through here, so. Yeah, I don't know why, but I mean, yeah, oh, yeah, I yeah, 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 but say. I mean, yeah, but people are different, I guess, yeah. you know, so, so, yeah. yeah. So, w when you started uh, being in the heavy rock, heavy metal scene, yeah. what were your influences when you first started with everything? My interest? Yeah, no, the, the influence. My it's influences, bad. yeah. I, I'm pretty tired of saying this over and over, but I mean, I grew up, I mean, my whole life changed when I was like, yeah, seven years old or something, and I found Kiss Destroyer. Yes. <laughs> it's always the same with that. Yeah, it's always, always the same. Yeah. I always love Yeah, it. but I mean, because I mean, this combination, and it, 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 it's, it hits me so deeply yes. and made such a huge impact on me because I was like a diehard fan of, uh, of Dracula, you know, like all the horror comics and stuff like that, and, and superheroes like yeah. Spider-Man or whatever. But here you find an album, I, I was listening to Sweet and The Purple and Nazareth yeah. and stuff like that, but I mean, it, it also had an impact on me. But Kiss, it was like, wow, here, here we have like uh, comic book superheroes yeah. that look kind of scary. And it's also music. And this this particular album, yeah. Kiss Destroyer, Bob Ezra is such an incredible producer with all these kids crying and a car crashing and stuff like that. So, wow, it's almost like a movie. It's a cinematic somehow. So, and from that moment on, I guess that is always what I wanted to to accomplish for myself, I guess, you know. So, okay. yeah, that's what I've been doing. Even though, I mean, I got pretty tired of Kiss after just a few years or something like yeah. that, because I think they, I shouldn't say sold out, but I mean, they, they, they lost it, I guess, you know. Never sold out. Yeah. Just made a few bucks. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, uh, Kiss is... Yeah, yes, just kiss. I mean, yeah. so some people believe in God and some people believe in this and that. But I, I think I could easily say that I believe in kiss. <laughs> so me too. So yeah, look we here. have something in common. Yeah, uh, actually, I mean, yeah, kiss, Ace. kiss connects people, I guess. You know. You saw Ace yeah. Frehley last year here? Yeah, I did. Actually, I was standing there on my own watching it, and uh, I, you know, I started crying. <laughs> Because so was, of the was, uh, drop outs he had. No, <laughs> I mean, he, he was kind of crappy to be yeah, honest. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah. I mean, it was such an emotion, emotional thing for me absolutely. to see Ace Frehley. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, me uh, too. So I was standing there crying a little bit, but I was on my own and I was like looking around and <laughs> <laughs> working around for something. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so what will be the next thing we can see of you? Uh, uh, hear of you? Yeah, hear of me. Uh, I guess you should check out the new album with Triple X because it's it's coming out in Europe pretty soon I guess but coming out releasing yeah. an album these days I mean put it on on all the digital downloads and stuff okay. like that which we're gonna do which you know, I'm gonna do with my own label and stuff like that and uh, and yeah then I guess you can look forward to the, to the next uh, Therion album okay. and I'm also gonna you know I'm also working on, on doing my solo album and stuff like that but wow, you know okay. we'll see what happens so yeah. you have a MySpace site of course please tell it to the people so yeah, it's very very it. very easy it's it's just uh, myspace.com slash Snowy Shaw. That's easy. Yep. Very easy. Yep. I thank you for this interview. Thank you so much. And I'm sure we'll meet next year here. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Thank you.